Sagittarius. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxy. I am going to do your monthly love reading. But I decided I'm going to do it the same way I did it last year. Because it worked out so well for so many of you. I'm going to run it from November 15th to December 15th. That way you guys get a love reading literally right before Christmas. And... Um, yeah, it worked out really nice for a lot of you last year. And um, yeah, I almost forgot about that. So I'm using um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. Amazing deck. Keep in mind, Sag, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs, your Venus sign for love. Those of you that don't know that, right below the video in the description box under this video. Along with everything else, there's also a link to a free birth chart that could calculate all of that for you. Those of you that would like a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card message every single day. Facebook, I do a um, contest for free private readings. Um, done in the Celtic Cross spread. It's a $125 reading. So I would love to have you guys follow me there too. Links to everything that you need are right below this video in the description box. And this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Actually. Uh, let me also mention, too, I um, do not read these cards in the reverse. They do not have the same meanings as your traditional tarot decks. And um, it is a difficult deck to read, so no reversals. Okay. The lovers. Wow. Well, the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Wands. High Priestess. She's still a secret keeper even in this deck. And the Magician. Wow. Well, three major Arcana cards out of five. It's amazing. The overall energy. Wow, make that six major arcana cards. My goodness. Okay, that's the overall energy for the month. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, and, and the very first thing that I am absolutely picking up on here is some of you are definitely dealing with a three-party situation. Yep, making a decision about it. Some of you could suspect that there is cheating going on. But, Sag, you are the Empress, okay? You will be the Chosen One. 
because at the start of the week, I'm sorry, the month, we have the lovers. This is about two people choosing to be together. I do feel like there could have been some temptation or you're with someone that's dealing with this temptation. Maybe like your partner was being tempted with, you know, with the lover's card, with the empress. You know, this is definitely the same woman. You know, and if you really look to at the, at this card, you know, one is like shy and sweet and innocent almost, right? And then the other one, not so much, you know? Um, so I do feel very strongly that you are the one that will be chosen. Definitely. For those of you that this is resonating with, This person that you were involved with may not have done anything. I feel like they may have dealt with some temptation, but they clearly, clearly see that you are the one that they want to be with. They, they, they might have been tempted, but... They're definitely not letting you go. You know, they know who their true love is. You know, whether this is you or your partner, whoever. This other person, whoever this other person is, You're very much aware of the type of um, person that they are. You know, they're they're trying to seduce you, and as tempting as it as it as it might be, you know, they know that you are the love of their life. And with the Ace of Cups being here, I mean, this this totally just clarifies that even more so. Though for those of you that are, you know, with someone and you're worried, please don't worry about it because I, I don't see a breakup. I do not see this person cheating. I don't feel like this person is cheating. I do I do feel more than anything that this reading is for couples. Those of you that are married. But because of this, this temptation that occurs, I do feel like there, there is a new beginning in love for you, you know, because of this. Maybe it rekindles your love. You know, it kind of brings it back to the forefront. It, it makes your partner want to put more energy and effort into the relationship or marriage because they know this is who you are. You know? You are the empress. Hooker. That, that's what I, that's what this, that's what this other person is. They don't want this hooker. You know? I mean... They don't. 
Those are the, you know, you're cross watching a sedge. I mean, I'm sorry. No offense. I mean, really, I love you guys. You know, but I mean, it is what it is right here for Sagittarius. Okay. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Probably because I called this woman a hooker. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. That was the first thing that popped into my head, you know. But, um, they just, they're going to put more energy and effort into the relationship, the marriage. You know, it's like, in their eyes, this person is nothing compared to you. You know? You know, when you look at these two cards, um, this first, these two people look alike. For real. Right? I mean, they're very similar. That, 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 they're, they're, uh, I'm so excited I can't even speak for you guys. That's, um, that's the same person. Definitely. Even here, too. You know? Talking it out, discussing things, working it out. Or that was the decision that was made. It's already been made. For for some of you, if you were if you were dating someone and they did go with with the other person. Not the sweet and innocent one. They'll be back. And they're going to regret it. They're going to realize that they made a big mistake. And they are going to realize that. With the Eight of Wands, I really do see this as kissing your ass kind of card. You know? They're kissing your ass. Someone is coming back. Apologizing. Even if someone didn't do anything wrong, they are still going to be feeling guilty for for thinking it. You know, they really are going to go out of their way to show you that you are their true love. You know, in, in this card, and I always say it's chicken, and I think it is. I mean... They're feeding you, you know, for the love of God. They're feeding you. And I think it is chicken. I'm really not 100% sure, but there's apples here. Regardless, you know. And I do think, I mean, I, it could be a feather. I don't know. A fish. No. I don't know. I don't know. They could be tickling you with something under the nose. I don't know. But, you know, it looks cute. Whatever it is. They're kissing your ass for whatever reason. And with the high priestess, if that 
if, if this is the other woman... Listen, if, she, if this is the other woman, she's tricky and sneaky. And she she's a temptress. And she's got she's got the keys. And she could even still be present. But your partner might know that this other person is still around and they could just be um Literally holding that key and dangling it in front of them. That's a key. And and just dangling it in front of them. Definitely. But I honestly do not see your partner doing anything. Or another person, I just don't see them doing anything. I see this person is present only because of the situation that was going on. I just feel like this, is a, this energy is present to let you know that This is what they're doing. They're 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 tricky and 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 they're sneaky. They act as if that you know they act as if they go by the book. By the book. And yes, I did air quote that. Okay. But They're sneaky as shit, I'm telling you. They do not go by the book. This person is a secret keeper and you probably even know them. probably know who you probably know them if if this if this resonates for you please okay believe me when I tell you your partner is not doing anything don't worry I don't see them doing anything I feel like, honestly, with the magician, whatever was going on here, the situation is going to resolve itself. And there's going to be a new beginning. New things are going to start manifesting within your relationship. For some of you, I feel... Because of all of this, your relationship is going to get much better. And for those of you that are single and dating and you're an option, you know, you you were some someone is dating two people, you know, if you're waiting to see if they're gonna choose you, a choice will be made and they will absolutely choose you. And it will be a new beginning. Definitely. Let's clarify. The Romance Angels cards. Sorry.
magic chair. Okay, that card looks like it wants to come. Wow, deception, secrets. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. That is exactly... Yeah, this person's a sneaky... Sneaky, sneaky. No. Could be an Aries, maybe a Gemini. Maybe a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That's all the signs. That's it. They're, they're keeping things a secret. But I think you already know this. And you're, you're, you're just moving on to the new beginning. You're moving on due to a three-party situation. For those of you that are married and partnered, I do feel because of all of this, you know, for a lot, you know, for a lot of you, you will, it, it is going to bring your relationship so much closer together. You know, or this person is definitely lying. Somebody is definitely lying, being manipulative. And again, I, I think that spirit's way of just showing you that this person is still doing this. I don't. It's not you. It's the person that you're dealing with, Sag. Again, an Aries, or a Gemini, or a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right, guys. Good luck. I hope it helps you out um, a little bit for the month. For the month, if not, absolutely. Look here. You know, all the you guys are my last sign because your birthday month is coming up. So you guys will be first for a while till your birthday time is up. Then I'll just like throw you in the shuffle, but uh. Don't look at your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. For those of you that it did resonate for, you know, for some of you it will work out. For others of you, I think you're just going to move on with a new beginning. You'll be the chosen one. And end what needs to be ended and move on. All right, Sag. Thank you so much for taking the time to view the video, for subscribing to the channel. Have a beautiful week. I will see you guys back here very soon um, with the weeklies. I'm going to do bi-weeklies for you guys because of the holidays and that. probably do, uh, But I'm going to do it in the Celta Cross spread for you guys like I do the monthlies. So I will see you back here soon. Till then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.